Hey guys, it's Drum Jr. In this week's video, I'm gonna go ahead and be reviewing the Core Sport Big Brick Kit, which is in this box right here. Um, it is for the fourth generation uh, Mazda 3. Uh, it fits the CX-30 also, um, is what they say on the website. Um, so yeah, if you was interested in personally, personally in the kit, or you was curious on how it looks, the fitment, and someone that bought it for their car, Hey, you pick the right video. So I'm gonna start this off by doing the unboxing, and then um, probably, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna record me um, doing the install, and then uh, basically tell you guys my opinion on how the kit is and everything, fitment, the wheels I'm running, and everything like that. Uh, so let me jump right into it. Let me show you guys what's in the box. All right, let me go ahead and open this up, guys. Um, so on the top, it comes stapled on both sides and then it's taped so it's really nice packaging uh, so let's open this up pull this out all right so right off the bat once you take out that filler there you get um, hit with paperwork with your invoice and some notes on the back telling you about the return policy and shipping information and all that so let's put that to the side it's kind of windy in this garage hope it don't blow away they give you a nice little snack that's great i'm gonna need that you know midway through put that over to the side then the first thing you see in here i might have to move this camera a little bit more over there well, you guys could probably see it is this right here it is nicely sealed and it's the instruction manual on how to install it. And then it also comes with, inside of here, it has the brake lines, the braided steel brake lines. The banjo bolt comes in here. Um, so definitely we're gonna open that up in a minute. Um, now, once you get further in the box, let me go ahead and move closer for you guys to see how it looks inside. It's really nice. Um, so, at the top, you have both calipers right here. So I'm gonna pull one out. Oh, shoot. And this is heavy, guys. This box was about 67 pounds. Should have seen how the guy was carrying it to the door. He was struggling. So this is the first caliper. Uh, the color I picked is red. Um, so here they are, guys. Um, and they are massive. Like. The videos when you watch when they release this brake kit and just photos of people I see running the kit, it does not do justice how big this thing is. Um, I don't even know what I could like put next to it for you guys to see it. It's huge. So you got the rotors, both rotors. Let me go ahead and put this over to the side. This one out. Pull the other one out. Well, I'll open this one. I think this was the one I had open already. It sure is. So I'll give you all a little teaser and then I'll continue what's in the box. So it comes nicely wrapped. Got the bubble wrap on the outside. Then it's in this uh, sleeve underneath. Um, so let me be careful. Don't want to mess these babies up. They do come preloaded with brake pads. They're blue, I think. I th the only blue pads... I know a company makes it's EBC. I don't know if these EBC blue stuff. Not sure. I might have to maybe pull them out just to see. But look at look at them guys. Look at this. It looks nice. I really do. It looks similar to an APR caliper I've seen before. It's really really nice guys. Nice finish. I must say. Um. There you go. Let me let me keep going. Let me keep going. Keep pulling stuff out the box. I know all you guys just care to see that, but there's more to it. We have the tool piece rotors down there, the hardware and everything like that. So let me just wrap this up a little, little bit. Let's keep going, guys. Ugh. Things are heavy. So right here, everything is marked, by the way, I meant to say on the front. I'll tell you what it is. So this is the hardware. This box got hardware in it. It's nicely, everything is nicely labeled. So uh, these are the bolts, you know, to hook the bracket up to 
the factory mounting brace, then also the bolts for you to put the caliper on the bracket. It comes up with touch up paint, depending on the color of the brake caliper you pick, which is nice, and some thread locker. I have some um, blue thread locker, that's what I'm gonna end up using. Um, so, boom, put that off to the side. Next thing in here, it's heavy, is the brackets. Actually, nicely wrapped. Once again, everything's so nicely like done. The presentation of of everything is definitely really nice. Um, definitely very professional. Um, yeah, so put this to the side. All right, now bear with me here. Gotta take these out. I'm gonna take this divider out. Take this out. Now let's go ahead and take a look at two-piece rotor. Um, so two-piece rotor is already assembled, which is nice, so you don't have to sit there and go through it yourself. And they are directional. So let me pull that big boy out, 13 inches. Woo! So, uh, yeah. Um, so that's what's in the box. So let me go ahead and open up this instruction manual, pull all my tools together, and get this bad boy put on. Um, I did want to note, Please, 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 remember to check with the template before you even purchase these. Definitely before you install them, if you have clearance. I just checked before this video, and I have the recommended clearance, which is two millimeters. Oh, yeah, the car is ready on the lift. <laughs> I was checking. So, um, let's jump right into it.
right guys this is how it looks in the car there you go uh, so been about a week since I installed them I've done about 500 miles on them that's about where I wanted to do before I completed this review and kind of give an opinion um, let me go ahead and show you guys how the fitment is over here so it clears these are the Kong Oversteer plus 35 offset. There are 18 by 8s. All right. And it clears the big brake kit. So, if you guys are thinking about what offset and wheel size to get, or you like how these look on the car, they will clear. There's more side, uh, more space on this side of the passenger side clearing. Um, so. There you go. That's the clearance, guys, if you guys was wondering on these wheels. Go ahead and give you another look here. Go another back out. Here you go. All right, guys. So let me go ahead and tell you guys how the install went. Um, install wasn't bad. If you have prior experience doing brake jobs, you switched some um, calipers before, you know, replacing calipers or anything like that. Cakewalk. Cakewalk. For real, it's really easy. It wasn't bad at all. The um, directions that uh, Quartz Sport provide is definitely really well written. Pretty good, definitely helpful. Um, if you guys kind of paid attention to me installing them a moment ago, I kind of did do a couple things out of order from what they wrote in their instruction guide, only because I felt like it was easier. For example, first thing you do is you obviously take apart the factory brake system. You take the rotors off, you take the caliper off, um, and you take basically the caliper off with the brake line attached, great. But they want you to go ahead and cap the hard line, you know, to stop brake fluid from spilling. Well, I don't have a cap. And plus it's like, what is the need of doing that? Um, I had extra boxes and stuff, so what I did is took apart, you know, Took, took the rotor off um, and then all I did is left the caliper attached still to the hard line and just kind of moved it out of the way and continued on and got the new rotor on, put the bracket on, put the caliper on and then at that point did I quickly just go ahead and loosen the factory caliper you know from the hard line and swapped and put the new braided line on and everything like that. I feel like it was less messy. It was quicker, but hey, you know, you do everything your way. The braking procedure, I did it exactly like how they stated. You start from the furthest and bleed outwards, you know, bleed, bleed inwards. So, um, install was easy. It was quick to do. Um, they said it would take about three hours. It did take about that, but it was mostly because I'm being cautious. Definitely don't wanna um, mess up, you know, obviously installing this. Um, so it took about three hours talking, chilling. I had my brother-in-law over here. Um, yeah, he was chilling, hanging out. So um, that's how that went. The break-in process, definitely easy, guys. It's not difficult at all. Um, you do the 10 stops, um, reduce speed. Then you go a little faster and do that. Uh, you, you guys can read it like the three at... Um, at a faster speed pretty easy break-in period um for the for the pads the compound and everything on the pads that comes with it is great um it definitely it has bite to it um but it still is um not too aggressive to where you can't modulate the pedal but it definitely stops a lot harder so it just takes time to kind of get used to it because you are going to have to brake a little differently because you definitely obviously got more stopping power um but definitely on a day-to-day -day basis driving it with the big brake kit it's fine you're not going to be over here just breaking your neck every single time you stop in in the car um it's really good uh, i've been beating on them a little bit probably should take it a little bit more easier right but i've been beating on them um on closed roads, done a couple uh, 90 to zeros, well 90 to almost zero, because obviously you don't want to get them that hot and just completely stop, especially when they new. 
nice um breaks down so smooth you definitely feel like um like you you can have confidence in your braking system like you can get down i'm gonna i'm not even gonna talk about how, <laughs> what else you know okay but they're great um definitely will recommend them definitely on the car um uh, great nothing but positive things to say about the kit so far you know what i mean um and i did do a little digging because that's just me you know i like to research stuff uh, when i buy and i did find out that it runs a pad design that is made by um ap racing um i might put the information down below if i decide to share if not um you can find me on the facebook group and then you ask the question i'll answer it and provide all the information I found about it. Um, there's so many pad compounds from so many different companies that I found that we can run uh, with this um, with this big brake kit. So that's great. The only default, not the default, but the only negative is it's really nothing for the rear. Um, let me show you guys what I got basically for the rear. They still OEM in the back. Um, didn't feel the need I needed to replace them yet. But um, this is really the most aggressive thing I can find unless you guys found something else for the rear what it is is power stop evolution z23 like you know like I wish I could we could get some hot some EBC something like that um pads back there but hey you know but the OEM is fine back there I mean the front is doing most of the work anyways it is what it is um so yeah that kind of Wraps up my review for this. Um, it's great, guys. Definitely is. Um, yeah, brake dust. Oh, by the way, brake dust is not that bad either. Um, yeah, it's, it's really not that bad. Uh, let me go ahead and kind of show you guys. Just thought about that. <sighs> brake dust is not too bad. Keep in mind, this is me doing some pretty high speed braking. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, it's a little bit on there, but it's it's not too bad. Trust me. Um, I got more brake dust with the factory pads. And it wasn't stopping shit. So, here you go, guys. So that kind of wraps up my review. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, definitely give a thumbs up. If you guys have questions, definitely leave one down below. Oh, and I'm about to be installing this today finally came and it is the AFE um, cold air intake for obviously our Mazdas so um, yeah that video will be coming soon on the channel also so uh, that wraps it all up from Junior Out guys